this is going to be an interesting video to make. So if you read the title, I'm going to be talking about PCOS or polycystic syndrome. So, a few weeks ago, I got a comment on one of my newest videos and I just removed it. I didn't want it on the video because I was kind of upset by it. And the comment was, uh, I've been watching you for years and years and years and uh, in the last two years you've gained so much weight and you look so fat now and all of that, blah blah blah, you look like this and this and this. And I'm kind of taken aback by the comment but then thinking about it I, I realised, you know what, that, that person is right in what they said. Not the part where they were being an arsehole but the part where they've like, you've gained loads of weight since you were 18, 19 and it, it made me want to talk about this because I've never talked about this on the channel. I went to the doctors God, about a year and a half ago and I was having a lot of pain in my ovaries and I was like what's going on I was having so much pain I was literally crying and I didn't know what it was and I went to the doctors and a lot of the doctors with the NHS I'm not saying the NHS is bad but you have to really push to get a doctor to actually properly see you instead of just being shunned away and majority of the time every time i went there and i was like i'm having this issue down below the same thing would be are you pregnant um when did you last try to conceive are you with a partner uh, when did you last have sex so i carried on talking to the doctors and carried on being persistent to the point that they did a scan for me and in the scan they checked down below and they found that on both sides of my ovaries, uh, they show signs of polycystic syndrome. So basically, um, they were like, yeah, you have polycystic on both sides. And the treatment they could give me was to go on the pill. Now, I went on the pill and I had a terrible reaction to the pill when I took it. Uh, I started feeling really depressed, uh, really sad really nauseous all the time and um, then I, I kept having these heart pains and I was like oh my god what is this so it got to the point that I had to go to a hospital and there was just this whole deal about trying to work out what the hell was going on I don't know if I had a reaction to it in the end they didn't find anything and everything was clear so I was happy about that but I was like I'm not going on that pill again I was just told repeatedly that I need to do exercise and I need to um, try to just combat it naturally so that was the best advice they could give me. It's taken me quite a long time from being in denial to how much weight I've gained to actually doing something about it. it it's, quite, it's quite hard in a sense because you look at pictures when you're like 17 and stuff and like you're so skinny. <laughs> and then you take recent ones and then like suddenly you've gained so much weight and, and a majority of what I wanted to do, I wanted to be an actress or I still do want to be an actress and stuff and, or I want to do a modelling gig and they don't accept people that are my weight. <laughs> so I was like this is going to be a bit of an issue. So um, I finally about, it's taken so long but I finally went on the scales about three weeks ago now and I, I saw my true weight it was honestly like I need to I, I was still having the pains back then I was still feeling crappy my body was feeling shit and I just whenever I had the pains the only thing I did to combat it was I just had the heat battle but when I basically looked at that weight I was like I need to do something about this my body feels like shit um I feel so like unhealthy and like unsexy. I don't I don't feel comfortable in my own skin anymore. What the hell is going on? I need to start doing something for this. And looking and doing more research, more and more it's like you need to do exercise, you need to do exercise. So I finally <laughs> about three weeks ago I finally jumped on the running machine and I was just like, you know, I need to start getting getting or trying to naturally combat this because it's really making a dent in how I feel and a dent in my confidence but I wanted to share my story because it's always good to check because a lot of times if you don't check something like this it can alter your life and it can cause risks which 
should be taken care of as soon as they're noticed. So I'm just going to read some symptoms. Um, the first symptom is he will probably stop growing extra face hair and how embarrassing, no matter how embarrassing that sounds, that's one of the symptoms. Uh, excessive weight gain. If you suddenly just crazily gain so much weight and it's not like you've been indulging, I mean properly just can't get rid of weight, that's another symptom. Uh, irregular periods. If you're having them not when you're norm meant to have them normally, then that's another reason to get checked. Hopefully, in the future, I want to be able to have children. I want to be a healthy weight and I want to not let this hold me back on anything. Uh, some of more symptoms. Excessive hair growth, weight gain, thinning hair or hair loss from the head or excessive hair just coming out when you brush and so forth uh, oily skin and difficulty getting pregnant there's no cure for PCOS but there's remedies that you can take and exercise so far it is actually helping me I didn't think it would but I feel like it is helping me and I hope that it helps you too and it if anyone has this and you're sitting there like, I might have this, please do get checked out and please be persistent with your doctors because I wanted to change this and I wanted to change being in pain. Thank you for watching this video and I will do maybe another real life video like this next week. I'll see you again soon.